Hello, Aries. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of September 13th through the 19th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my Quick Glance daily readings. Now, Aries, take what resonates and leave the rest, as these are very general readings. So be sure to check out your sun, moon, and rising signs, as one might resonate more than the others for the week ahead. Now, my guides here were pushing me towards this nine-card spread this week, rather than what I normally do. But I will pull a crystal for your week ahead, because I know many of you really like that in my videos. So this spread encompasses your past, present, and future energies all at once, where I can get a lot more information coming through. Okay, first, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Major Arcana card, the Empress, Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Major Arcana card, the Fool. Well, the first thing, Aries, you have several pentacles cards in your reading. So this might have something to do with your money, finances, possibly investments, maybe your job. You are definitely working hard towards something. Now, taking a look at the heart here of your reading, I'm going to begin with this card, the Major Arcana card, the Empress. And picking up the energy with the Empress card, that something has been going on behind the scenes. I'm picking up some of the, the moon's energy here, which is at her feet. Something that was behind the scenes is starting to emerge. So first, we're going to take a look at your first row here, which is your past, possibly your very recent past. And your Knight of Pentacles card is looking off, he's looking off towards the future. So this is an indication of a slow and steady, dependable income that's been coming in. So it could be an indication of your job, what you've been doing for a living. It's comfortable, it's providing for you, but this knight is looking towards the future. There's an indication here when the knights show up of movement and change coming in, and that's what I'm picking up with this card. Can be you're not happy where you're at at the moment, even though things are okay. But you've got the Seven of Wands, which is actually a reassuring card saying that you're in a better position than you think you are. And I believe that's for moving forward. That's what that's indicating. It's moving forward into something else, Aries. You might be thinking about another source of income. Now, for some Aries, this could be a second source of income. Maybe something you do part-time. Maybe a hobby that you can kind of turn a bit of a profit from. It's another way of income for you. But you're kind of hesitant, Aries. All these wands here down in front of you are forces that you have to contend with. But if you see, there's two fresh cuts that I see on the wands. So there's at least two opportunities waiting for you to take advantage of them. And that could be either a new job where you might be making more money, or it could be that second source of income that I keep picking up. Now your last card here, and let me see if the light's not too good. Hopefully that's a little better. But your Page of Pentacles, he's definitely looking out towards where you came from. An indication of bringing you some news in regards to what you've been doing in the past. Now this Page of Pentacles brings in news 
in regards to money and finances, but the Page of Pentacles can also bring in news regarding your health. The Pentacles element is about the body and the material realm. So yes, health, money, your work, security. It symbolizes money, the material world, as well as nature. And more often than not, the Page of Pentacles usually releases the message, the guidance coming down to you while you're out in nature, outdoors. So let me pull a clarifying card in regards to what kind of news or what the Page of Pentacles represents for you. Okay, we have the Five of Wands. Well, this is definitely some kind of struggle or conflict. It's something that you're going to feel very passionate about. So it could be in regards to your health. Could also be in regards to what you do for a living. So it could be your job, your career, the field that you work in. Five of Wands is Leo's card in energy. So it's a very authoritative, self-assured energy that's ruled by Saturn. Saturn represents time. So the message I'm picking up with this clarifying card is the news that's coming in with the Page of Pentacles, whether it's in regards to your health or in regards to maybe what you do for a living or for the majority of the day, time is of the essence. Page of Pentacles is going to give you news in regards to either of those two things or something has to change and there's not much time for it to happen. This is the number five energy where it's gonna shake things up. So in regards to your health, it's gonna shake things up where you're gonna to need to pay attention. In regards to money, your finances, possibly your job, it's shaking things up, pushing you possibly into a new position or with a new company. Either way, this is going to depend on a lot of your will and determination, Aries. Now, taking a look here at your middle row, you have the Five of Swords, the Empress, and the King of Cups. So possibly the news from the Page of Pentacles is how you're feeling with this Five of Swords energy. This is that same Five energy of shaking things up. So the energy with this Five of Swords card is possibly having arguments with those around you. You might be feeling very irritable, feeling like you're defeated. You could be arguing with someone that's very close to you, Aries. Usually with the Five of Swords, you could be hanging on to a thought process, hanging on to an idea that you need to let go of because it's pertaining to this news from the Page of Pentacles. Usually the Five of Swords can represent remaining in an unhealthy situation or circumstance because you don't want to hear people say, I told you so, Aries. So Five of Swords is you being able to feel like you have some power or control, winning at all costs, when it's not that important. That's not the important thing here at the moment. That's not part of the big picture. So for some of you, this is indeed here in regards to your health. For others, this could be leaving one job for another. And maybe this complicates something in the home front. The sword energy here can kind of trip you up as you're almost your own worst enemy. It's about the best way I can put it, Aries. Some of you might be unsure if it's job related and others are not wanting to give in to possibly the health situation that might be coming your way. Now in the middle here of your reading, the heart of your reading, Aries, is the Empress. This is bringing in abundance. This is something that is starting to emerge. And so if this is in regards to money, your work, career, this is a very good sign for you, Aries. Something has been working behind the scenes. That's just what I keep picking up with this card. So in regards to a job, a second source of income, there's abundance to be found there. 
Now, in regards to health, the something that's starting to emerge is information that you receive here from the Page of Pentacles in regards to your health, where you're now able to take some action. The number three of the Empress card is new beginnings. So that's what's coming in. Some new beginnings here. There is an abundance of information coming your way, Aries, possibly in regards to your health for some of you. And your last card here is the King of Cups. This could represent someone in the medical field advising you. Could be someone that you go to that's close to you, maybe a family member, a friend for comfort. This is Scorpio's card in energy can be a very strong-willed person, really passionate about what they're involved with. Now, let me pull clarifying card. Let's see how this King of Cups is helping you out this week. He's kind of looking off to your future. So this is someone that's looking out for you, Aries. Whether it's possibly a doctor, a friend, just someone that's looking out for you. Okay, and we have the Major Arcana card, the star. This clarifying card here is an indication of hope and optimism for the future. It's a card of success. So it could be the King of Cups is giving you that hope to see you through. And that could be obtaining a new job or obtaining better health, Aries. Now, your last row here is your potential future. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Major Arcana card, the Fool. Now, what I'm picking up is the Fool is looking straight at the King of Cups. Your new direction is going to be based on the advice from the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups could be like a new boss, putting you now on a new direction for how you earn your money. This can be a new position, a new company, a new field even. As you do have the Three of Pentacles here, which is an indication that your gifts, your talents, your work is getting noticed. And it's at the very beginning stages. You have that number three energy again here with this and it's sitting right next to your abundance the empress same energy so you're getting noticed whether it be in regards to your work or your health you're kind of in the spotlight you might say Aries and here with the full card showing up is you definitely being given the choice about going in a new direction and that could be your health your lifestyle or that could be how you make a living, your job, your career. Now your Ten of Pentacles is what I feel is your outcome card, Aries. It's the happy home, relationships going well, a loving family, just a lot of love and happiness with the, the Pentacles. It's security, it's financial security. So yeah, let's pull a clarifying card for the Ten of Pentacles to see if we can get any kind of clarity to this, what I feel is an outcome card for your reading. Okay. We have the Ace of Swords. Well, definitely it's an indication of success after a long, tough journey or a tough time, hard work. That's where the star card here with the King of Cups gives you that hope and optimism. A new journey, a new direction that you're going in with the full card. Because something is putting you in the spotlight here, getting notice, Aries. And with the Ten of Pentacles being the outcome card, and then the clarifying card the Ace of Swords, it's an indication that your cards are kind of all just leading up to how much you listen to the advice and also your will and determination. It's leading towards this Ten of Pentacles, an indication that you will have success, 
But after what I'm going to say is a little bit of a struggle, some difficulty, after all, you do have this five energy. You've got the five energy here, the five energy here, which can shake things up, can be an indication you're going to have to change some of your habits. Definitely movement and change coming in this week. Okay, Aries. Let's see what your angels and spirit guides are suggesting for your crystal for the week ahead. What's going to help you out with all of this energy? You've got beginnings, opportunities. Okay. Here we have it. Garnet. And the key word here, Aries, commitment. An indication you're going to have to put your heart and soul into either taking better care of yourself for some Aries individuals or making a solid commitment in regards to maybe a new job, a new career, a new field. Garnet here showing up in your reading is an indication that you're on the right track, Aries. It's asking you to stay strong and hopeful because there are some great things just around the corner for you. As I was picking up the moon's energy here, right at the empress's feet, there's something that's working behind the scenes, which is going to get you to this Ten of Pentacles energy. And with garment, with garnet, it's examining how you think about things, whether it's relationships, your health, your job. There's something here that really no longer serves a purpose for you and you need to let it go because you need to make room for the new beginnings coming in. You have the number three Empress, you have the Fool card showing up, you have the Three of Pentacles. This is new beginnings that you need to be ready to embrace as this change comes in. So garnet for commitment for this week, Aries. Now, let me take a look at your numerology for the week ahead. For your nine cards here. First row, nine. Middle row here, nine. And your last row, 13, which is 31, which reduces down to four. Number four is all about your foundation, your security, what is like solid and steady in your life. And that certainly applies to the cards that are coming in for you this week, Aries. As for some Aries, this is going to be in regards to your health. You need to take better care of yourself. Finding out what's hidden may be coming to the surface this week and you have to make some changes for a healthier lifestyle. For others, this is in regards to your money or finances, possibly investments, your job, maybe a new job. But it's an indication here that this number four energy of building like a solid foundation for your future, and that's exactly what I'm feeling, is your outcome card, the Ten of Pentacles. Either way, you're going to get to the outcome card. If you work hard, take the advice that's given. Take the chances, move forward. As this Ace of Swords clarifying card for your outcome card here is an indication of success after you've had a bit of a struggle, which once again is that five energy that's in your reading. Just bringing this change in, challenging you, asking you to change some habits to be able to move forward, so your numerology is confirming that all your hard work is going to pay off, helping you to get to this Ten of Pentacles energy, which will be good health, good fortune, financial security. Maybe finding that someone special to share your life with. But it's going to take some hard work and also hope and optimism. As you're moving through the week, there's going to be new beginnings, new opportunities, things that are going to be presented to you. An indication for you, Aries, that you need to grab this brass ring with both hands and hang on, as this is something. It's going to take a little bit of doing 
to achieve the results to get to your outcome card, the Ten of Pentacles. So be sure to have the Garnet Crystal with you this week. And actually, I'm wearing a Garnet bracelet. And if interested, I do have a link in the description box below for custom crystal bracelets. But the key thing for you this week, Aries, let's get it to zoom in. Of course it won't. <laughs> but commitment. We're looking at the word commitment here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And if you're interested in a private tarot card reading, my website link is listed below. Love and abundance. To my Aries family.